All right, so that was a good match against Spurs, but going to sim all the way to this match because I think that there is a a uh, Champions League match that's going to be coming up soon, and we actually beat Chelsea in the FA Cup. Okay, so there's no Champions League match after that Norwich match on this on this um in this month, so that's a green month right there for the month of March, and here, what match are we going to play? Okay, we're going to play the second leg of the of the uh, Champions League match against Manchester City. Hopefully, we can beat them because I think this is the uh, quarterfinals. I guess it's most likely the quarterfinals or it's the semi-finals. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. And before we go into anything, Zayed is on 42 goals in just 49 games that he has played, and that is good. Is he going to be able to reach the 54 that he was he was able to crack last season? If not, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's still a really, really good performance, and he's on for the player of the season for season four again, and that is just crazy. All right, so Foden and Greenwood are a bit low on stamina, so I'm going to be putting Kamavinga and Jovic respectively in their place. Arahal and Pamikano are actually also low on stamina, but I mean, they are the only players that that we have that that can actually make a difference in defense. So they are they are irreplaceable until I can get a player that can actually replace them, which might be next season. I have no idea, but let's see how this match goes. Hopefully, hopefully Manchester City do not pull up pull off one of the most irritating performances and actually win in this match and. If you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. Our camera lens trained on one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. The stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. We're at the home of City this evening. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we're getting ready for a quarter-final second leg match in the Champions League. It is Manchester City against the Blades. Well, Derek, the first leg was a good game and fairly even overall. But an early goal here, and these fans will expect to go on and win this tie. It should be compelling stuff today. Champions League quarter-final, second leg commences. Tremendous intuition to win it back. This looks threatening. And there it is, 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing to keep it from the for the short corner. David Alaba. And the pass could do damage. It could be for Raheem Sterling. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Well, the counter-chance looks very real. And he's through here. And it's come off the keeper. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Grealish. Can he put it in? Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Sterling. 
takes the shot. Raheem Sterling has done it. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Gabriel Jesus. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Still could be dangerous. And so the half-time whistle is... Right, so this is where I'm going to end the match because of time. And I don't really think that Manchester City is going to come back in this match. I mean, they might, but... <laughs> Because of time, I'm just going to jump to results and let's see. We still win the match 2-1. And alright, so we are four points behind Manchester United with a game to spare. So if we win this match against West Ham, then we're going to be ahead of Liverpool by a point and we'll be behind Manchester United by one point. So there are just about six games left in the campaign. And this is probably going to be the toughest, toughest end to a season that I've I'm going to be in. Alright, so it says that I cannot substitute Bakari out of this match. So I'm just going to quick him like that. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, we do win the match. So we are going to be one point behind Manchester United and one point ahead of Liverpool. So this is going to be a really, really close end to the season. Gavin Birch got the brace and he's the one that actually saved us in that match. Alright, so we're against PSG in the semi-finals of the Champions League and we're just going to sim all the way to this match. We win against Leeds, we win against uh, Norwich City and we win against Fulham. So that's all wins in the Premier League from the match against West Ham. So there's a possibility that we might be on top of the table that that, that is if Manchester City has not been winning their matches. So PSG... Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, are they still going to be in that team? I hope not, because that's just going to be too fucked up for my defense, if you ask me. And we are indeed first on the table with one game to spare. We are 85 points drawn with Manchester United. So if we win our next match in the Premier League, then there is a possibility that we are going to be winning the Premier League this season. So we, so indeed, we have Messi, Mbappe and about okay i have no idea where neymar is but let's just hope that he's actually going to still be in this team we well, want my hope let's just hope that he's not going to be in this team because i really do not want that front three in fifa i really do not want to face that front three in fifa in any way whatsoever the pre-match focus on killian mbappe he scored four in his last three what will he produce today stay with us on ea tv and a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's the Blades against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest, and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Just couldn't keep the ball. Takes it on. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a Ravazzi now. Excellent defending. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. A really sumptuous ball. It might be. It could be up for grabs. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, let's take another look at this and from the attacking point of view everything's right a shot across the goalkeeper players coming in for the rebound and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that mason greenwood 
This looks promising. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, he's through here. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. It's with Oyar Sabal. Could cross it in here. Kurzawa sends it back and a goal it is from who else? Lionel Messi well let's have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here and then the finish is fairly simple in the end that's a good goal lovely ball from Verratti well nothing productive really time pass and a goal to delight the fans just what they were hoping for well let's do this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that Neymar. Oh, a lovely ball. And there is the goal. Determined defending. Wonderful chance. Well, for power, 10 out of 10 for placement. And threading it forward. Well, a shot from miles out. They cannot be separated here. And it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part in this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Well, that's going to go down as offside. Well, he couldn't quite release it quickly enough, and the flag went up. And they need to get tighter here. Long way out, this. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Corner awarded. And dispossessed. Now can they create something? And he might be in here. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Can they hit on the break? And he's in. Is it going to be? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. And there is the whistle. It's going to be quite the party now. because they're... Okay, so that was a very, very hard early win, to be honest, because <sighs> at first I thought that they were just going to pull up with eight last minute winner and then we actually went all the way to the extra time and in the second half of the extra time we were able to get those two goals Zaid and uh, Kamavinga so those two guys are my heroes in this match all right so that was a good win against PSG now there are three matches that I would actually love to play but I'm only going to pick one because of time there's the match against Liverpool there's the match against uh, Arsenal and then there is the match against Atletico Madrid for the Champions League finals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim straight to this one against Arsenal. And then I'm going to do a an interactive sim. We do win against Arsenal. We win against uh what's that? Sheffield United. And either I do an interactive sim or 
I just do a quick sim and let's see if we're going to be able to get the the treble in this episode and season. And yeah, we do. We get the win against Arsenal. That is two goals to Zaid Greenwood and Devo scored. These are my top goal scorers, and they were able to get us the win. So we have the FA Cup under our our belt, and that is. That is good. So we we we're on the chance for a treble because we are three points ahead of Manchester United. All we have to do now is just win all of our matches that are to come, and we're just going to sim all the way to this match, the Champions League finals. And we do win against Chris um Southampton, and then the final match against Brentford. We win it, and the Premier League title is ours for the second season in a row. We won it back to back, and. <laughs> That is amazing to be honest. So, last match of the season is against Atletico Madrid. Okay, so it is time for the Champions League finals. Greenwood is on a 90. Zayed has finally gone up to a 93 rating. Uh, Upamecano has gone up to 89 as well. Devo is on, like, on a 92. So, we're almost at an all 90 rated squad. Probably by the end of uh, next season, we should have like an all 90 rated squad under our belt so it's raining we are in old trafford i wonder why i wonder why these matches are in old trafford though the wait is over there are few bigger days on the football calendar than champions league final day fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable stay with us we'll have all the action for you from manchester here on ea tv live it is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Atletico Madrid against the Blades. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Cuts in from the flank. Can he convert? The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Strong play here. Zaid. Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the end. have possession again. Mason Greenwood. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. And a touch of finesse. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his... Good 
prepared to take on the shot. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Struggling to keep the ball. Certainly options available as far as the blades are concerned. It's got to be! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now! And just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. They to stop a decent-looking attack. And breaking at pace with Menace. Foden. How about the cross? At times, they make passing look easy. job well it's a goal you'd expect him to score but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely he'll be happy with that on the ball Joao Felix can they convert and now he must score and a goal it was served up on a silver platter for him well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Dangerous ball. Taking care of business defensively here. A glorious chance. And the keeper stretching to deny him. a pass of high quality well very effective goalkeeping to touch it over a corner and there it is full time they are the Champions League winners well just look at the emotions out there joy and relief on one side despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserved it on the night For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the track. Right, so I have been speechless for a long time now, and... Wow. This is the second Champions League in a row. Second Premier League title in a row, and we actually got the FA Cup this time, so this is the treble. And it just felt, it just feels completely right that it's Suho that is lifting this trophy because he he deserved it. Zaid has deserved this. Greenwood has deserved it. Foden has deserved it. Every single one of the players in this team have deserved it. To enjoy it with your own supporters. Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savor these moments. They've traveled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best we are looking at Zilla FC, which is a treble winner, the Premier League, the Champions League and the FA Cup. You see, not a lot of players, not a lot of teams have been able to achieve a treble in the history of football. And this is just amazing that we are, our team is the one that is able to do this in just their fourth season.
fourth season. But before I end the episode, I just want to look at this. We have Zaid who reached 50 goals again. He reached the 50 goal mark again. Devo with 25 goals. Greenwood with 16 goals. Gravenberch with 15. Jovic with 9. Davies with 8. Foden with 8. McKinney with 5. Suho with 4. Kamavinga with 4. And that is the top 10 scorers. Top 10 highest scorers in Zilla FC this season. And of course, the player of the season for Zilla FC goes to three time champion now, Zaid, Karim Zaid from the United States. He's 23, he still has like a long time to go before, before he retires. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications and draw comments on what kind of videos you want to see in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.